So when looking at the right rectangular method, wait, I think I do that in the other one. OK, we do midpoint there. All right, I'll cover a midpoint. Sweet. So I'm looking at the right rectangular method. Sorry, Kevin. Are you OK? Um, that's exactly what we're going to do. Now we're going to start with, um, as you can start from the right endpoint and say f of 8 plus f of 7 plus f of 5 plus f of 2. And that's going to be your 2 and then pushing over to the right. So from 8 to 7, we're, going to, we're multiplying by a width of 1. From 7, we're going from, or from 7 to 5, you're going to go to 2. From 5 to 2, you're going to go from 3. And then from 2 to 0, you have 2. So now we just do, let's see, this is going to be 1 times 23 plus 2 times 21 plus 3 times 13 plus 2 times 4. Does everybody see where I'm getting those values as well as how I got my widths? You don't have to write them in this order. I just decided to do it. It just that, that was a good way to, for me to distinguish. If I'm going from the left, then I'll write the heights from the left to right. If I'm starting from the right-hand rectangle method, let's start with the areas from the right and write them to the left. Just another way of kind of showing the same work. Okay. And so therefore, we have 23 plus 42, 26, 39, plus 8. And that's going to be 112. All right. Now, the last one I have for you, or at least on this, because I'll do a midpoint um, 